the incredible drama on Mars. There'll be more truth. You are not. And more consequences. Angry mothers. That is his son! Denying dad. I got 11 children, Mark. And babies that need to know who their fathers are. Brittany's an extremely young teen mother who's not sure if her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend is the father of her baby. Her ex-boyfriend's mother is here. You know what I think about Brittany? She's a The results will change these teen lives forever. Who's the father of Brittany's baby? Brett Dalton. You have done nothing but lie to me from day one. Lavender admitted to cheating on her fiance Lucas one time. Lucas forgave his fiance, but his mother and sister have never forgiven her. Lavender is nothing like a housewife. She's a house host. And they truly believe that Lucas is not the real father of her two kids. Two DNA tests. It's two of the most explosive results of the year. Lucas. Plus, Samantha's one of the most distraught and enraged single mothers we've ever had on the show. Those tears ain't gonna make me the father. But has she been directing all of her anger at the wrong man? Tim. <laughs> Shocking DNA results. Unforgettable drama. Next. Everyone, these are photos of my next guest. But behind those smiles, there's a painful reality. You see, in a moment, in a moment of guilt, Lavender admitted to cheating on Lucas one time. Now, now since then, Lucas has forgiven her. They are engaged. But his mother, Dell, and his sister, Maria, have not forgiven them. In fact, they believe that Lucas isn't the father of either of their children. Lavender is a sick excuse for a woman and a piss-poor mom. I'm determined to get her out of my son's life today. He was a close family until Lavender came in and took my brother away. I am sick of watching my brother take care of two kids that I know that don't belong to me. I'm determined to stop this wedding because Lavender is nothing like a housewife. She's a house host. Lavender, you can pull the wool over my son's eyes, but you cannot pull the wool over ours. Your dirty little lies will be revealed today. We will go again today. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? I'm upset. I'm really angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm a mother. I'm a mother. I take care of my kids. Is he the father of your kids? Yes, he is the father of my kids. That's not my grandchildren. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, what you say? Lavender, here's the thing. I stay in your house, you know. Lavender, here's the thing. You made a mistake. Yes, I did. And I'm woman enough to be here today to let everyone know you made a mistake. And you get over it. Get over it. So what you're saying is you and Lucas have moved on, but his family hasn't. They haven't. And we're going to be together whether they like it or not. Today, I called the show. I brought him here to prove to Odell, Maria, and anybody else that he's you know he the father. You know he made his You know he made his dog out there. You know he made his dog out there. You need to stop letting you know he was getting there. Take care of our people. I do. Me. So what are they telling you? They're telling him that she doesn't look like him and that is not his child, but it is. You're supposed to get married on Valentine's Day. February 14th. No, you're not marrying my brother. Not you're a buster. You're a buster. You're not marrying my brother. Don't come out. They are the grown.
grandmother and auntie, and they, uh, they will be there at our wedding. Here they are, Dell and Maria. This is your son you're talking about. I love my I brother. Love, I, I love my brother. She know that. Yes, she know that. She's an Wait out of town. Why are you so, why are you so mm -mm. upset? Because she knows she gets down. Can I ask you something, Maria? Yes, Can Maury. I ask you yes, something? Yes, Maury. By the way, I like your shirt. Love Thank it. You very much. He's not the father. He's <laughs> not the father. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll have him. Not you. I gotta be quiet. I gotta make some sense out of this. Look, obviously, she admitted to him that she cheated. They worked it out. They're still together. Why can't you leave it alone? No! No, Mari! No! No! By the way, there is something I want you all to know. That we asked Lavender to take a lie detector test to prove... Yes! Yes! Yes, that's what I want! That's what I want! That's what I want! Lavender refused to take the test. Ah! Uh, she lied! She lied! Why you won't take the test? Why you won't take the test? Why you won't take the test? Because you were busted. You were a liar. Wait a second. What's the biggest question? The biggest hey, question is, are the kids. they his kids? Yes. That, All right? No, yes, no, yes, yes. no, no. Everybody, here's Lucas. Lucas, come on out. It's a shame that I have to do this. What? I'm torn between my girl, this beautiful woman. Oh, you want me there? I got it. That I love. Damn. Fuck that woman. Y'all need to cut it out. Y'all need to cut it out. Y'all need to cut it out. I raised you better than that. I know, you better than that. I know for a fact she's our area called Ho. You don't you need this. He loves her. You, you, see, you see what I'm going through? I can't you are even going get nothing to cross. I know. I'm You're in the middle. All. I'm just in the middle. I'm so lost. Uh, I just want some closure today. It's going to be God uh, today. But you love those kids. Yes, I love them. He if voodoo, I come huh? If the he voodoo, come, voodoo, if the she voodoo, voodoo These are my kids. Me and this beautiful woman right here is going to get married. Whether they like it or not. I mean, it, it, it's a possibility. Well, OK. All I know is, I know you as a grandmother would accept those kids if they're his. Maury, I would accept the kids if they were mine, if they're mine. Well, good. Brought to be mine. Okay. Yes, I will. Well, we're gonna find out right now. When it comes to one-year-old Alexis. You are the father. Lucas. You are not the father. You are the father. Thank you. 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 Thank Wait a second, wait a second. He's in love with her. Respect his wishes and make sure you're good to those people. The drama continues backstage because they still want Lavender to take a lie detector test. Take, take, the take, 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 take. And you won't believe what happens. I will take one right now. You want to take that? I will take it right now. Brittany's an extremely young teen mother who's not sure if her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend is the father of her baby. 
her ex-boyfriend's mother is here. You know what I think about Brittany? She's a The results will change these teen lives forever. Who's the father of Brittany's baby? Brett Dalton. You have done nothing but lie to me from day one. Shocking DNA results. Unforgettable drama. Next. Everyone, this is Brittany. Welcome Brittany to the show. Quite frankly, I don't want Britney on this show. Because Britney's too young to be on this show. Because she was pregnant at 15. When she first found out she was pregnant, she was scared to be a teen mom, and rightly so. But she was confident that her then boyfriend, Brett, would be there for her. Then the doctor gave her the shocking news that she had already been six months pregnant. So she did all the math, and she realized that her ex-boyfriend, Dalton, could be her baby's dad. Unfortunately, Dalton, the ex-boyfriend, doesn't want anything to do with Brittany or baby Mackenzie's lives. Watch. When the doctor told me I was pregnant, I was happy because I thought it was my boyfriend Brett's baby. Then I was shocked to find out that I was six months pregnant, and that could only mean one thing. Dalton was the father of my baby. He wanted to keep the baby a secret. I told him, our baby is not a secret, and that's when he started saying he was not the father. I'm still a teenager trying to get my education. I have to do homework, change your diapers, go back to homework, and then finally, at the end of the day, put her to bed. Dalton laid down with me, but I'm the only one who got up and took responsibility. And today, he will man up and be a father. So, Brittany's boyfriend, Brad, her ex-boyfriend, Dalton, Dalton's mom, Lisa, they're all backstage. We're going to talk to them in a minute. Who do you really think is the father of your baby? Honestly, I think it's Dalton, but lately, Mackenzie's starting to look more and more like Brett. Really? So. Now, Brett, Brett's the redhead. Dalton <laughs> is the brown-haired, dark-haired guy. Why do you think it's beginning to look, she's beginning to look like Brett? She's getting a red tint to her hair. Oh. So here's what Dalton and his mom, Lisa, had to say. Watch. You know what I think about Brittany? She's a slut. And this little slut was sleeping with not one, two, three, four boys at the time she got pregnant. When I first heard from Brittany about the pregnancy, I was shocked. She's been dating another guy for months. And then all of a sudden, it's my kid. Brittany is every mother's worst nightmare. I don't understand why Brittany's saying it's my kid while Brett's still in the background playing daddy. When the test results come back proving he is not the father of this baby, leave my family alone. Here are Dalton and Lisa. Here they are. <laughs> Lisa, you sit here. Dalton, you sit here. Okay. Lisa, is that your grandchild? I don't know, Maury. You look like your family? Somewhat. But she are... looks like uh, all the three boys that I've talked to that have all been with Brittany. Oh, really? And yet, when we talked on the phone, you didn't even remember me. When you talked to my mom, you don't remember who I am or who I look like. So first of all, you don't know me, you don't know well, my family, you know, and you're not gonna sit here
country. No. Nope. How would you know? You've got five you children. They all got sure different daddies, don't you? Them? Kids should not be having kids. Amen, Lori. Amen. I agree, but at least I'm the one that can man up and you take your stuff in sexual relations with Brent right now at 17 years old, and you shouldn't be. When I met you, Brent, you were half dressed. Okay. All right. Okay. The only other piece to this puzzle is Brett. I, I wonder what Brett's like. We'll find out. Here he is, Brett. Brett, come on out. Okay, Brett. You all together? Yeah. Is that your child? I hope so. You hope so. Aww. What happens if you're not the father? Still be the same way. What? Dalton, if you're the father, you and Lisa, you're going to get into this child's life? If, if yes, sir. Your oh, son's most the definitely. The only reason we've postponed most definitely. getting the DNA test is because they want to do it through the courts. If they go through the courts, I'm not 18. It's stuck on my mom. I'm not putting that on my mom. She had and nothing to do with it. And I didn't want to bond with the you baby and find out after I've done bonding with other It's not my Sorry. blood. Okay, so this test is going to at least open up the yes, truth sir. to everybody, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So let's get the results. <laughs> comes to four-month-old Mackenzie. Brett, you are not. When it comes to four-month-old Mackenzie, Dalton, you are the father. I know, Lisa, I know your son is young. All these people are young, and that's why the mothers and grandmothers have to step up and direct their kids into how, into how they can be good parents, okay? And that's not, and that, Brittany, and that's just not his mom, it's your mom, okay? <laughs> now. It's over, it's done with, you know, I think everybody knows their responsibility, and all you have to do is fulfill it. Thank you very much. When Whitney told Charles she was pregnant with his baby, he immediately went and moved in with another woman. Bye bye. That's not my That's job! Baby. She wants him to step up and be a father starting today. But who will be stepping to whom when the DNA test result comes out? Charles. Ah! Shocking DNA results, unforgettable drama. Next. Everyone, this is Whitney. Welcome Whitney to the show. Now, when Whitney fell in love with a man named Charles, she never thought that they you know, that, that she would wind up on The Maury Show. But now she's here today, and she says that Charles has committed the ultimate betrayal because when Whitney discovered that she was pregnant, not only did Charles abandon her, he moved into a new woman's home and then denied that he was the father of her now two-month-old son, Jalen. I never thought Charles would have done my baby, and it hurt me so much. My heart is hurting right now. I gave up so much. I wanted to be a nurse. I couldn't go back to school because I had my baby. What's hurt me the most is I have to sit here and take her and Jamie by myself, and I need his help. I need a father his life, 
I don't want y'all to step up and be a father and help me and take care of Jay. He needs his father in his life. I know you're crying. What hurts you the most? That he denied my son. Wendy, you are out of your mind. You know I am not the baby's father. <laughs> Has he ever met your baby? No, he just sent them on the pitch. He ain't never. He told me he was gonna come to the hospital and see my baby when he was born, and he, he didn't even show up. You think they look alike? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Look at my baby nose. He got his lips and his eyes. What did he say when he saw the picture? Witness. The first time he told. My baby looked almost identical to his baby pictures. And then the next time I talked to him, he told me he ain't for sure, so he wanted a DNA test. That's not my that child! That is your baby! That's not my you child! You damn me! You, you ain't no! You're positive that he's the right, well. father. Right. You might as well hear what Charles has to say. Watch this. I am sick and tired of Whitney's tears. The only tears I want to see is when Mara read the results, you are not the father. When Whitney told me she was pregnant, I wanted to get as far away from her ass as possible. Whitney ain't nothing but a sleep around, and in the hood, we call that a hoe. If you give this girl something to drink, she's yours and your friends for the night. When I looked at that baby, I was like, hell no. Whitney, please find your baby daddy and leave me the hell alone. Bye, bye. Okay, I'll be, I want to talk to you about it, Charles, okay? Okay, Charles, you never see this baby in person, right? Never. You saw pictures, right? Yes. That baby doesn't look like you. Maury, that baby head is too wide. I know so I got a big head. Right, you the baby head is too wide. Look how wide the baby head is. Look at the ears. The ears don't look nothing like me. The baby, the baby look like an alien, Maury. It's not my baby. You have a lot of children? I got 11 children, Mark. Child, you're gonna take care of it. If it's mine, I'm gonna step up to the yeah, plate. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell man. you something, Charles. Listen, you you gotta use protection. <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to two-month-old Jalen, Charles, you are not. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank Maury for even bringing me here because I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for Maury. And I watch your show every day. And you're one of the greatest talk show hosts ever in of all times. And it's over, I'm glad please. it's over with. Okay, but if I were you, I'd use some protection. Yes. Samantha is one of the most distraught and enraged single mothers we've ever had on the show. Those tears ain't gonna make me the father. That is his son! You know he's That's your son! That's not my son! But has she been directing all of her anger at the wrong man? Tim? <laughs> 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 Shocking DNA results, unforgettable drama. Next.
Everyone, this is Samantha. Welcome, Samantha, to the show. Now, as you can see, <laughs> Samantha's very upset. She is very, very upset. You're pushing that chair away already? I don't want him anywhere near me. Huh? I don't want him near me, Maury. I but, don't even want to see his face. But you want to prove to Tim that he's the father. He's the father. He's going to step up and he's going to be know today that he is his dad. He's going to know today there's no backing out this time. Okay. Look at him. He's beautiful. Look at, look at his eyes. Look at him. Look. Look, he looks just like him, Maury. Look at his nose. Look at his ears. Look, that is his son. And he's going to know today. That's his son. Not my, his my son. That is not my son. You know he's your son. You know he's that your son. That is not my son. Yes, he is. You know he's no, your son. No, he's not. Yes, he is. You know it. You know it. Samantha. Samantha, sit down, sit down. Because <laughs> everybody's got to understand what's going on here. All right? Because when you were eight weeks pregnant, yeah. <laughs> you almost lost that child. Yes, I did, Maury. He was there when you went to the doctor. Yep. I called him because I woke up from a nap and I was bleeding. And I was like, oh my God, I'd already lost a baby. We get there, we're in the room and everything. The doctor's telling me he's okay. And yeah. I'm bawling my eyes out because I'm like, but Tim, God. Tim is crying. Tim's, I look over, Tim's crying. Well, that's I'm good. I'm thinking, okay, he's happy. Right. I found out later he was crying because he didn't want him to be there. He didn't <laughs> want to be okay. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> You're a liar. You are a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're the liar. You know he's your son. You need to step up. Step up and be the dad you're supposed to be. You're Here, gonna know here's the difference. You said yours. You're, here's the difference. You, <laughs> you say. You say you had a relationship with Tim. He says he slept with you once. No, that's not true. That is so not true. We had sex numerous times. He even proposed to me. He proposed to me. How do you decide your child's not good enough? Especially, especially this baby. My son is special because he's autistic. He is autistic and he meets the how can you not love that face? How can you not love that boy? Look at him, he's precious! Look at him, he's a beautiful, he is a beautiful baby! Look at him! All right. Look at him, Maury! I see, I'm, I'm, he's a great looking child! <laughs> That's my baby! And he's That's what, my now four? Is he's he four? He's four, he okay. just turned four. This is what Tim had to say, a completely different story. <laughs> Samantha is here to lie today saying that I am the father of her son and I am 100% positive that I am not the father. I didn't even know about Samantha's son Jonathan until a couple years after he was born. Samantha and I only had sex one time and we both used protection. And you know what? I've seen Jonathan and he looks nothing like me. Samantha is nothing but a liar and a cheat. Samantha can sit up there and cry all she wants, but at the end of the day, those tears ain't gonna make me the father. You're a liar. Everybody, here's Tim. the holes in her story. Tom! All right. Yeah, Tom. we were only together three months. No, I don't three think months. so. I had sex like two, three times. Yeah. Two or three times. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, first it was one, now it's two or three. Yeah. <laughs> How many times has she contacted you since that? She's contacted me several times <laughs> over the past few years, feeding right. me a bunch of random oh, lies telling me so. that you have a son, you don't have a son, you do have, you a, do son. have a son. And and you do have a son, it's gonna what? be proven you today he's yours. Well, you know what, I want the truth. You think he looks like you? I mean, look at no. the ears, they're You don't huge. think he looks like you? That's your ears, that's your eyes, he's got your hairline. 
I want to prove now. I want him to know. Okay, I, I understand that. I want to do, I, I, I got a couple more questions. Did you cry when she uh, found out that she was going to keep the child because you were happy or because you didn't want her to have it? Yeah, I did. I did cry when I found out she was going to keep the child. But, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of stuff, emotional stuff going on. There. I just buried my stepdad. I was really emotional. Oh my God! How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel about it? And I care so about So why your do you think she's going too. through all this trouble to prove you're the father? <laughs> she wants the truth, <laughs> and so do I. Okay. And guess what? I have the truth. <laughs> if it's your child, you'll we'll be in the child's life. Man. If the paternity test proves that I am Jonathan's father, right. I am going to be the bigger man, step up and take my responsibility. Oh, now you'll step up. Now you'll step up. When it comes to four-year-old Jonathan Tim, the results are next. But has she been directing all of her anger at the wrong man? Tim, <laughs> you are the father. Lavender proved to his family that he is the father, but they still want her to take a lie detector test. Take the test! Let us take the test! And you won't believe what happens. I will take one right now. You want to take that? Test? I will take it right now. Shocking DNA results, unforgettable drama. Next. Samantha is here to lie today, saying that I am the father of her son. And I am 100% positive that I am not the father. Samantha and I only had sex one time, and we both use protection. And you know what? I've seen Jonathan, and he looks nothing like me. If it's your child, you'll we'll be in the child's life. If, if the paternity test proves that I am Jonathan's father, right, I am going to be the bigger man, step up and take my responsibility. Oh, now you'll step up. Now you'll step up. When it comes to four-year-old Jonathan Tim, you are the father. I chance to get in the child's life. He doesn't okay. deserve it. Oh, well, now, now, don't say that. Allow him to get into Jonathan's life, okay? Say hi, Daddy. Tell him hi, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> I told you he was yours. I told you. I'm sorry about you. He's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to know I'm gonna be there and be in his life and all the time. He better. I will. He needs to be there. He needs his dad. He denies her baby for one reason. He said my baby didn't like him, so it's not his kid. That's the truth. The baby started hollering when I held him. So you held the baby and you knew right away. That baby didn't have no connection with me. That baby no had connection. Mom. Is he telling the truth? Donald. Ah! Shocking DNA results, unforgettable drama. Next. This is Amber. When Amber was dating Donald, she thought he was the man she could build a relationship with. Fight one night during sex, Donald says, quote, ha ha ha, that condom broke. Nobody's laughing now, because not only does Amber believe Donald intentionally got her pregnant that night, Donald now refuses to acknowledge that 15-month-old Jaden is his child. Take a look at this. For the last 15 months, I've been raising Jaden all by myself, all alone. And after today, that needs to stop. After we got done having sex, he had mentioned to me that the condom broke and said, just kidding. But who jokes like that? And six weeks later, I go to the doctor and find out I'm six weeks pregnant. I was so scared. I had nobody to turn to. The things he's missed out on, my son's first words, my baby crawling, my baby's first smile, everything. And it just hurts. I wish he'd be there for him. 
His father needs to be a man. He's 26 years old and be grown about the situation. He deserves two parents in his life. You think Donald did this purposely? I hope he didn't, but honestly, who jokes about a condom breaking? Was he at the hospital? No, he came to visit my baby one time at home. I had to beg him, and he came, and he said my baby didn't like him, so it's not his kid. That's the truth. My baby was less than a month old. How can you tell if he likes you or not? So you moved away. I moved maybe. away, and now it's so hard raising him all by myself. I have And to... he's still in California. He's still in California. Well, even if he is the father, how do you expect We'll have to work something out. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm willing. I'm yeah. begging for right. him to help. This is what he had to say. Watch this. Amber is called the Queen of Cali. Means she gets around town, not in a good way. I want the only guy with her, so I'm the only one here at the Maury Show. I came to the hospital right away when she had the baby, and I realized the baby didn't like me. The baby started hollering when I held him. I knew right then and there that it wasn't my son, and he knew it too. Amber baby looked like an old man. I look young for my age. That baby looks older than me. Amber, leave me the hell alone. Wow. Yeah. Here's Don. Come on out. That okay. looked like you, huh? Yeah. Oh no. Really? Okay. Really. So you held the baby, Don, right? You held the baby. Yeah. And you knew right away. That baby didn't have no connection with me. That baby no connection. Not mine. I see. Less than a month old though. A couple you know, weeks so. old. Did the condom break? Man, I don't know about no condom being broke. Yeah. I ain't never okay. said no condom okay, being broke. Didn't say that. She lying. You didn't say that? She lying. You didn't say that? She don't know how to say that. You know how to say that. You say that, you know, Amber had some nicknames, right? Man, she called herself the Queen yeah, of Cali. It's plain for from. herself, you know what I mean? You already know. I don't call know where it that for came herself. from. You don't call yourself the Queen of Cali? Um, yeah, that is uh, my name, but not exactly. for no reason. You call yourself not the Queen of Cali. Reason. It's, he knows it's, that. It explains itself. She okay. out there, you know what I mean? She knows And that's why you have three baby mamas with three people. I do. You, you know can do way do. too much, way I too do. many kids. Stick you know to one person. Try that. That's another thing, Donald. This could be the third baby with three different women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 26 years old. But I don't believe it's my kid, man. Well, we're going to find I out was, right I now. <laughs> when it comes to 15 month old Jaden, Donald, you are not the father. <laughs> to help you, please Dad, let us know. Baby don't look like me. You knew okay, that baby don't look like you. me. I'm no, I ain't no sorry. Call tell me that's who kid is. You know who kid it is. Okay. You know what I mean? You are the father. <laughs> Lavender proved to his family that he is the father, but they still want her to take a lie detector test. Take the test. Let us take the test. And you won't believe what happens. I will take one right now. You want to take that I will take it right now. Shocking DNA results, unforgettable drama. Next. Earlier, we all met Left, who admitted to cheating on her fiance Lucas one time. Lucas's mother, Dell, and his sister, Maria, believe that she cheated much more than once and that he's not the father of her two children. Before the DNA results were revealed, there was one piece of information that had to come out. We asked Lavender to take a lie detector test. Yes, that's what I want. Lavender refused to take the test. Ah, she left. Why you won't take the test? Yo, why you won't take the test? The DNA results prove that Lucas is the father of both of Lavender's children. But backstage with executive producer Paul Fallhaber, Lucas's family was still upset that Lavender refused to take a lie detector test. Hold on. Hold on. I will take one right now. I will take one right now. You want to take that? I will take it right now. 
Okay, we'll give it to you. Let's find Ralph and uh, let's give her a test. The truth will be exposed. Everyone on today's show will be back to find out the results of Lavender's lie detective test on a future update show. So keep watching. Until next time, America. Drama, emotion, life-changing results. Mario busted on hidden camera. Yeah, G straight on. Take him home, make pain the suit. Busted by the lie detector. That was a lie. <laughs> Are the men in their lives cheating? The truth is about to come out. Thelma says her 27-year relationship with Darren will be over in a heartbeat if she finds out that he had sex with one person. Her own sister, Ty. Darren says they never had sex. You better man. You better man. Her sister says they never had sex. It ain't me. It ain't me. But what will the lie detector the test determine? I don't care. Don't the lie detector test. Test. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. She met a man named Michael when she was 16 years old. You love this woman. I love her with all my heart, Mario. You do. What will happen to this teen love story when she sees her husband doing this? Last year, we tried to convince this teen couple to stop trying to have a baby. How often do you all have sex? Eight times a day. Today they're back, and Nicole's pregnant. But she's not happy because she thinks her 15-year-old boyfriend is cheating. I can't believe I'm doing this with 15-year-olds. The lie detector determined their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The unbelievable drama starts now. This is Thelma, everybody, and today, Thelma is ready to throw away a 27-year relationship with this man, Darren. 27 years. 27 years, Mark. She's convinced that Darren's cheating on her with somebody she should trust the most, her own sister, Ty. <laughs> See, Thelma, not only is he cheating on her with her sister, but also with other women. See, one time Darren disappears at 3 o'clock in the morning. And his, his excuse was he said he had to go wash another woman's car. <laughs> You're sure he's cheating? Mari, I, I've been knowing this man, like you said, for 27 years. It's, uh, it's that feeling I got. It's that intuition. My gut is telling who washed the car at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? It speaks for itself. Who, who's washing well, the car? What did he say? What, what did he, first of all, did you ask him whether he's been paid to wash the car? Yeah, $2. $2. <laughs> Come on now. Who going to wash the car for $2 at 3 in the morning? asking him about that ever since. Do you talk to him about that, or oh, you let I'm, it go? I'm crazy. Did you let it go? No, I, I never let it go. Well, you know why he thinks you're crazy? Why? It's because you think he's with your sister. Her and everybody else. Why, why is he with your sister? My sister don't cook for her own kids. She brings him food to the house. Oh, I see. You know. You ever, you ever you look know. on his boxers? What's he find out? I have no problem with checking his underwear. You know, so when I check his underwear. Sometimes he says, sometimes he says he wakes up at night and he doesn't have any underwear because you've taken them off. I sure do. Look, I sure do. And um, the night in particular I took them off, it's red lipstick on the, on the drawers. Look. Uh -oh. Where did that Look come from? Look at me. Where I'm too black for red lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, first of all, this is what he had to say. Watch, last night. This is what he had to say. I've known Thelma for 27 years. I will never cheat on Thelma. She's the love of my life. I'm tired of being smacked across the head every time I look at another female. When I walk through that door, she rips off my pants looking for evidence. She already ruined four pair of my pants. Once I pass this test, she's going to buy me four new pair of pants. Thelma's crazy. She think I'm cheating with her sister, Ty. Ty's like a sister to me. I wouldn't dream about having sex with her. Today, Thelma will finally get the answer she's looking for, and I can finally get peace. Okay, he wants peace. 
Here's Darren. Darren, come on up. First of all, first of all, did you cheat on her with her sister? No, nah, I wouldn't do nothing like that. You wouldn't do that. No, nah, no, nah, that's not my character. That's the worst kind of all. That's not my character. Ain't nothing funny. That's, that's, not, my, that's, not, my, not, that's funny. not my character. How come when she found you down there painting that basement, all of a sudden you, you, you jumped back? No, nah, I wasn't going to paint no basement. I had to put some, uh, I put, uh, hit the couch up. <laughs> I put the couch up. No, it's you, not, you, you there's nothing look, funny about it. You want to look goofy? Not me. Well, let me look goofy and tell me. Darren, you know what? You know what sounds goofy? Washing a car at three o'clock in the morning. That sounds goofy. But I've been washing car all day long, though. And then she's having, she want a car. Well, I just, I wash the car. I'm, I'm hustling. Two dollars. No, $2. That's what you told me. That's what I told you, though. Yeah, you know why she told you that? Because he didn't want you to take the money. Thank you. How what much money? was it? Absolutely. How much was it? $12. $12. <laughs> 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 Hello, Darren. First of all, let's get to your sister, OK? <laughs> That's very important. Here's Ty. Ty, come on out. Cook for him, but you won't cook for your own family. I just cook. I don't cook. I cook for my kids and whatever's left over. I give it to them. I mean, because there might be a little bit left, that's not gonna be enough for later. So I just bring the food. What? I cook for everybody. You don't, don't favor me. this food. Do you favor this man? That's my brother. That's like a brother to me. That's all. That's all, so, it, is. That's all it, it is. It ain't me. It ain't me. Y'all take up for each other. Both of y'all. You take up for him. He take up for you. He like a brother to me. Okay, the regards. You think he's cheating on her? Yes, you know what? I hate to say, yes, bro. Don't look stupid. Dude. I hate to say it. Like, <laughs> don't look stupid. Don't look If, if on, you man. don't know anything, right. get to the point with him. It's not me. Okay. All right. Well, I hope it's not. Well, guess I what? He not. Might be we not. asked all those not. questions, and we're going to have the answers. But last night, with the help of our special ops investigator, David <laughs> Talley, <laughs> we put Darren into a room with a hidden camera. This is what happened. Yeah, G string on. Yeah. I don't know if you want to go take him off and get him. Why well, I want to go home with you? Sir. Take him home and make pain and soup. You want to get him all over the body? Yeah. Do you love him? I told you you was a trick. Can you? You was a big trick. You were a big trick. You were a big trick. Come with the results. Come with the results. Come. That's all I need. Get him away from me. On the road, when you were on the road, did you have oral sex the time that Thelma caught you in a hotel room with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with a woman whose car you were washing at 3 a.m.? You said no. The lie detector determined. What? 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 I'm, I'm sitting down. What? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you. I get you. Have you ever had 
had sexual intercourse with another woman in the house that you share with Thelma? Nope. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than once. We had no respect. We asked no you, respect. how no many respect. women have you had sex with during your relationship with Thelma? You admitted to more than one woman. Our lie detector determined it's been more than 10 women. Oh. It's about your sister. It's about your sister. Get ready. Apologize we asked you, when me. you painted Ty's house, did you have sexual intercourse with her? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. What? We asked you during your relationship with Thelma, have you ever had oral sex or sexual intercourse with Ty? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. What? Mm -hmm. Can I get another hug? Can I get another hug? I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thelma? Are you, are you going to forgive him? That ain't right. No, forgive him. That ain't right. Forgive him. Yeah. What goes around comes around. That ain't right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Thank you. Will Thelma end her 27 year relationship? No, it's guys. She met a man named Michael when she was 16 years old. You love this woman? I love her with all my heart, Mario. You do. What will happen to this teen love story when she sees her husband doing this? Last year, we tried to convince this teen couple to stop trying to have a baby. How often do you all have sex? Eight times a day. Today they're back, and Nicole's pregnant. But she's not happy because she thinks her 15-year-old boyfriend is cheating. I can't believe I'm doing this with 15-year-olds. The lie detector determined. This is the week. The week to join with millions of Americans in a cause bigger than you and bigger than me. Volunteer at I... Their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The truth is about to come out. Amanda is here. Welcome, Amanda, everybody. Now, Amanda... Amanda's heart is broken. She met a man named Michael on the school bus when she was 16 years old. And that was almost six years ago, and three kids, and a marriage. And things are about to fall apart. Because Amanda believes Michael has cheated on her during their marriage, especially during the times that she needed him the most. This is her story. My husband, Michael, and I have been together since we were 16. We have three beautiful kids together. Michael's admitted cheated on me before with two women, and I think it's more. When Michael went on a business trip to Texas and our house burnt down, Michael was nowhere to be found. When the room caught on fire, it had been burning for two hours, and as soon as I got the last baby out, the ceiling split in half. I've had 14 surgeries, it's left nothing but scars. And I'm scared that Michael is repulsed by the way that I look, and that's why he's cheating on me. My whole marriage rests on these lie detector test results. We talked about the fire, right? Yeah. He was on a so-called business trip. You don't think he was on a business trip? Because when the house burned down, I couldn't get out of him for two days. Then, when you were in the hospital with the kids, right? Where was he? You were giving birth. Where was he? I don't know. You don't know where he was? What's your biggest fear? That he's going to fail this test, that he's been cheating on me again, and I you can't. You found out about those two times, didn't you? Yeah. How'd you find out? Once his family member told me, and once I drove up and down the streets until I found their car, and the girl called me. This is what he had to say. Not many people can say this, but I met the love of my life at 16 years old. Cheating is the last thing on my mind. I'm focused on my family, and that's who I love. I know I've hurt my wife in the past, but I am a changed man. Amanda and I have three children together, and I just want to move on and be a happy family. Baby, we've been together since we were 16. I love you. Please don't throw all this away. 
Now, before we bring him out here, I want to tell you we put him in a green room last night with our special ops investigator, David Talley, and a hidden camera and a decoy. And this is what happened. Your girlfriend brought you here, too? Yeah. Is she hot? <laughs> she ain't hot. But get on the trail. You know what I mean? Do something. You can do something. Mm -hmm. She don't do much of nothing. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I really don't know. Do you care? <laughs> Not really. Sitting here next to me talking all this. Can you do anything else? Yeah. We're going to bring Michael out here. Here he is, Michael, your husband. You love this woman. I love her with all my heart, Mark. You do. do? Yes, I do. With you all wouldn't my do heart. anything to destroy that no, love. I would not, Mark. Because, because you, uh, because she found out that you, you know, cheated on her a couple of times. Yes, she did. And you know how that makes her feel. Yeah, it tore her up, Mark. And you, you, and see you wouldn't. It tore her up. You wouldn't do anything like that. No, I wouldn't. Well, Michael, last night. Last night, you were in a green room, and there was another lady there, but we had a hidden camera. This is what went on. Watch. Your girlfriend brought you here, too? Yeah. Is she hot? She, she ain't hot, but get on the treadmill. You don't know I mean? need to do something. You can do something. Mm -hmm. She don't do much of nothing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank What do you think about that? It's wrong. It's I wrong. Know it is. You're right. It's wrong. Okay. Well, we gave you a lie detector test, so we're going to find out the results of that right now. <laughs> we asked you the other, other than the one time Amanda knows about, did you have sexual intercourse with a 43 year old woman that you admitted to Amanda that you slept with? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you have more than three times with that lie But it's just lunch, right? It's we asked lunch, you, right? have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman while Amanda was in the hospital having surgery? You said no. The lie, the lie detector determined that was a lie more than one woman. <laughs> we asked you, when you tell Amanda you are out with your friends, are you really out having sexual intercourse with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Wow. That was not a lie. That was not a lie. That wasn't a lie. Wait a second, Amanda. No, that wait wasn't a, a lie. Wait a second. Wait a second. Amanda, wait a second. And we asked you finally, do you regret marrying Amanda? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I love you. In the room. You regret marrying me. You want out of it. You got it. You got it. Sit down, sit down. Shh, shh. Amanda, I don't want you going home before you talk to my counselor. I want you to have a clear head. I want you to be able to make decisions. Why we got three kids? I know that. I know that. Is three. he a good father? Is he a good father? What is that? I'm, I changed. I'm trying to change. I've been, I've been doing everything right. I just. You've been everything. You're trying to change. You're trying to change. We're just in the green room, kissing on another girl. But you're trying to change, right? Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Are you serious? Yes. I okay. Am. I'm in the building, and you're with another girl. Amanda, I'm <laughs> sorry. I love you. Last year, we tried to convince this teen couple to stop trying to have a baby. How often do you all have sex? Eight times a day. Today they're back, and Nicole's pregnant. But she's not happy because she thinks her 15-year-old boyfriend is cheating. I can't believe I'm doing this with 15-year-olds. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs>
Will Thelma end her 27-year relationship? Their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The truth is about to come out. Last year, we met a teen couple who were desperate to have a baby. They were on the show. And they were on the show because we didn't want teens having babies. Well, they were in the ninth grade. And Nicole was determined to have a baby with her 14-year-old boyfriend, Cruz. This is their last appearance. My name's Nicole and I'm 15. This is my boyfriend, Cruz, and he's 14, and we're gonna have a baby. I try every day to get Nicole pregnant. When I turn 15 years old, I'm gonna get a job at Chuck E. Cheese to help raise my baby. I even know how much Cruz wants a baby. He made up a lullaby for the baby. My baby pony, my baby pony, my pony, ooh, ooh, my pony. Why, Nicole? Why do you want a baby? I can be a fit mother. You gotta provide your child. My mom. Your mom's gonna provide. Yeah. How often do you all have sex? Eight times a day. You know what I think, Cruz? I get the feeling you've been yanked around on a chain by this one right here. Yeah. So after the show, we sent Nicole and Cruz to baby boot camp. First, both babies needed to be changed. You do not wipe a urine-stained diaper on a little girl like that. The yeah. diaper is not secure. I know it's not tight. Watch a baby. The baby is falling and trying to crawl off the tabletop. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Don't know what it means to be a mother. You her sock came off. Her hair, her hair is hanging off. Not good. Stop. We took Nicole and Cruz back to see their mothers. There was only one thing left for them to say. It's really hard. Especially the diapers. <laughs> In the bottle. So, since that show, a lot has happened to Nicole. They are still dating, she and Cruz. But now she's dealing with an even bigger problem that needs to be solved. Everybody, welcome Nicole back to the show. Here's Nicole. <laughs> you happy about this? I'm excited. You are? You think you're prepared to take care of a child? You're 15 years old. But we're not here for a paternity test. What's the theme of today's show? Cheating boyfriends. You think he might be cheating? Yeah. His mom sent a picture of him and another girl kissing. She didn't care. She does not care. She doesn't care? No, she wants me and Cruz to break up. What does Cruz say about that picture? First, um, he told me that his mom forced him to kiss the girl or his mom wouldn't let me see the baby. That's a lie. I but did not force him to do June that. June told me that she walked in on Cruz and the girl kissing, right. that she never forced Cruz to do anything. Where do 14 and 15 year olds get the idea that they're gonna stay truthful to each other for the rest of their lives? Where, where did this come from? This is what he had to say. I'm not cheating on Nicole, and I'm going to prove it today. I know Cruz is cheating on Nicole, and I want her to know the truth. I love Nicole, and I want us to be a family together. I do not want Cruz and Nicole to be a family. Cruz is too young, and he needs to see other girls and not be tied down. I made one mistake and kissed another girl, but I promise that's all I ever done. Cruz has cheated on Nicole many times, and I'm trying to save him from making a mistake by being with this girl. I never slept with another girl, and it's not my mom's business. It is my business because I'm his mom, and he's 15 years old. He's too young to be having a baby and acting like he is married. Nicole, I love you and our baby. I promise you I'm going to pass this test today. Nicole, Cruz is going to fail the test, and I want you to leave him alone. I'm not going to leave him alone. This is his damn baby. <laughs> Well, we're going to find out about the lie detector results. But first, everybody, here's Cruz. Cruz, come on out. <laughs> Y'all love each other. Do you? You love each other? I love him. I don't know if he loves me. Cruz, you love her? Yeah. If I could erase it right now, and, you, and she wasn't pregnant, would you want her to have a baby? Yeah. You would? Why would you want her to have a baby if you're, if you're messing around with girls? Mm, that was just a mistake. You mean that one time? Yeah. Just that kiss. That's it. Guess what? Your mother thinks that you've cheated on her. A lot. It's none of her business. It's none of her business? It yeah. is my business. You need to shut the <laughs> She can sit right here. She can sit right there. 
she's not sitting next to me. Jim, are you telling him to go out and cheat on her? No, I'm not. You're not? He's doing it by himself. How do you know he's doing it? I've seen it. I took a picture of it. Really? Oh, you took the kissing picture? Yeah. And sent it to her? Yeah. You trying to break them up? In a way, yes. Well, if this is your grandchild, why would you want to break it up? She's ruining his life. She doesn't care. What about she the baby? She does not care. This is going to be your grandchild. She does not cr count this baby as her grandchild. Really? Why not? Because why not you? She does not like me, Maury. She does not like. She never liked me. And you know what? I really don't care if she likes me or not. This is Cruz's baby and mine. He is the father. I he don't is going to Cruz's be baby. Me. Well, we're gonna find out with the lie detector. Okay? Yeah. I can't. I can't believe I'm doing this with 15-year-olds. I can't believe it. Okay, Cruz, we asked you if you still love Nicole. You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, did you do more than kiss the girl in the picture that was sent on the phone? You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. We asked you, since the last show, have you had sex with any other girls besides Nicole? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Oh. Now, here's the deal. Now, here's the deal. Uh, you're having a baby. You are both 15 years old. You have a lot of responsibility. And I'm telling you right now, the adults in these families better step up and add to the lives of these kids and the unborn child. And I got nothing else to say. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. Kiana's desperate for the truth because she thinks her husband has a secret love child. Before we were adults, you want to tell Kiana something. That was a lie. <laughs> Will Thelma end her 27-year relationship? Their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The truth is about to come out. This is Kiana. Ever since Kiana found a pair of women's thong underpants in her husband Leo's pocket. In his pocket! So, when you think that he might be having sex with other women? And what's even more heart-wrenching is that Kiana says a woman called her claiming Leo was the father of her five-month-old baby. <laughs> and here's the deal. Kiana can't have any more children, so she thinks that her infertility may have driven Leo to cheat on her. Watch. I love my husband Leo so much and I'm terrified that he cheated on me and in the process he had another baby on me. I seen the baby, the baby looked like him and if he failed his lie detector test I know that this girl is not lying, that it's a possibility that this is his baby. Every time I go out people are coming up to me telling me that Leo has a baby with somebody else. I found panties in his pocket, he smelled like sex when he came home, he's staying out all night. If I find out that Leo had a baby with another woman it would just shatter our whole home. It would hurt me and my kids. I don't know what I'm going to do if Leo failed a lie detector test. I think that it's going to be over. This is your husband. Yeah. How long y'all been married? We've been together for like three and a half years, but we've been married for two. You find thongs in his pocket. <sighs> and he claimed that they was mixed in with our clothes from the laundry and that he put them in his pocket. If he fails this lie detector test, what's going to happen? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's over. And I'm ready to get those results going. So let's, let's get it going. It's a wrap. Well, I got to give him a chance to say something. Here's Leo, what he had to say. Watch. Two years ago, I married my soulmate, Kiana. 
but she somehow thinks that I'm cheating on her. She accused me of having panties in my pants pocket when that's bogus because it came from the laundromat. She thinks I'm paying for sex. What kind of guy do you think I am? Why would I pay for sex when I got it at home? This year, I plan on celebrating our third year anniversary and many more after that. I think I'm the victim and I think this is crazy and ludicrous. Yeah. So now I'm crazy. I hear, you know, you all don't have as, you're not as intimate as you used to be. Is that true? Because I don't want to catch no disease if he is having sex with other people. He ain't about to give me no disease. That's why. Here's Leo. Leo, come on out. Here he is. Leo. Leo, those thongs in your pocket. She ain't find no thongs in my pocket, man. Well, where they come from? Where they come from? Where they come from? They came from the laundry mat. Now, Leo. Yeah. I know you agree to take a lie detector test, but before we read the results, you want to tell Kiana something. <laughs> Watch this, Kiana. Kiana, you know I love you with all my heart, but I have a secret and I need to come clean. I did have sex with one of my ex-girlfriends. If he passes all this test, can you forgive him? Okay, we're gonna find out right now. We asked you when Kiana found a pair of women's underwear in your pocket, was it there from a woman who had sexual intercourse with you? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was the truth. <laughs> Are you cheating on Kiana because she can't have any children? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was the truth. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. During, your, during your relationship with Kiana, have you ever gotten another woman pregnant? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. What? Are you serious? Uh, although you admitted to cheating on Kiana, one time we asked you how many times you actually had sex with other women during your relationship. The lie detector test determined 50 times. Damn. Me, dude, for real. Don't touch me. Come here. Man, you better go. I'm telling you, go. I'm not playing with you. You better go. You better go. You better go. Kiana. Go. Don't Kiana. touch me, dude. Is it a rap? It's a rap. She thought George was her Prince Charming until he did this. We just got done being intimate and said, I love you, and called me another name. Was it an innocent mistake? I'm Name. sorry Another for girl's a million name. times. Or is George a cheater? The lie detector determined that was a lie. What? Will Thelma end her 27-year relationship? <laughs> their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The truth is about to come out. Imagine if the man of your dreams turns to you and for the first time told you he loved you. But then in the same breath, he called you the wrong name. That's what happened to Heather, who believes in her heart that her boyfriend George is cheating on her. She says, the evidence is overwhelming. She has found women's clothing in his house. Suspicious stains on the sheets. And that's why she concludes that he may be having sex with other women in their own house. For the last year, I've been with a man who I thought was my Prince Charming, but George has changed. I know George is lying and cheating on me, even though
know he swears he's doing nothing wrong. When George said I love you to me in the beginning of our relationship, he called me another girl's name. My friend's name. George swears that nothing's happened between them, but I don't believe him. I found girls' clothing in George's apartment, and he swears that they're from ex-girlfriends. I feel so betrayed by George. If I find out that George is cheating on me, he's out. <laughs> What about the sheets? What was on the sheets? Everything. There was things, anything in his own apartment. Here's George. George, come on out. Here he is. George, it was just a giant slip of the tongue, right? Yeah, I've been drinking. I'm, I'm sorry. How I, is that an excuse to call me another I'm name? I'm sorry. It's another girl's name. I am sorry. It's another for girl's name. For the millionth time. It's another girl's name. How are you? I love you. It has nothing to do with her. You seem upset. Do you still love her? Yeah. With all my heart. I think maybe the best thing to do, Heather, is just find out, right? You ready? Okay, here we go, George. You were asked if during your relationship with Heather, you had sexual intercourse with the girl whose name you called Heather when you told her you loved her. You said no, the lie detector determined. Was it an innocent mistake? I'm name. sorry Another for girl's a million name. time. Or is George a cheater? The lie detector determined. You had a man. You had a man. That was a lie. What? Will Thelma end her 27-year relationship? Their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The truth is about to come out. For the last year, I've been with a man who I thought was my Prince Charming, but George has changed. I know George is lying and cheating on me, even though he swears he's doing nothing wrong. When George said I love you to me in the beginning of our relationship, he called me another girl's name. My friend's name. If I find out that George is cheating on me, he's out. Okay, here we go, George. You were asked if during your relationship with Heather, you had sexual intercourse with the girl whose name you called Heather when you told her you loved her. You said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked if during your relationship with Heather, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any woman other than Heather? That's pretty inclusive, right? You said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You do know her name. Yeah, it's Heather. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Thank you. That was a lie. <laughs> Will Thelma end her 27-year relationship? <laughs> their weddings and their futures hang in the balance. The truth is about to come out. Earlier. A lie detector test determined that Thelma's boyfriend of 27 years, Darren, had cheated on her with over 10 women and even had sex with another woman in their own house. Backstage after the show, Thelma was on a mission to find Darren. Find his way back to Chicago. I, guess I'm I don't care. Find I find and I meant that. Find him. I'm, if I find him, I'm going to hurt him. You lost me. When executive producer Paul Fallhaber caught up with Thelma, her emotions had gotten the best of her. Are you okay? Here you go. Are you gonna stay with him? 
In no way. Make sure and watch upcoming shows to find out if Thelma keeps her word and truly leaves Darren for good. Until next time, America. Everyone is here for one thing. Can you not tell me what the heck? The results of a paternity test. Crystal is not sure if the father of her baby is her ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend's nephew, or her husband. And you only told him two weeks ago. This woman keeps telling this man that Latasha has been sleeping with four different men. Yes, four. And that he's not the father of Latasha's baby. We had a problem. And this woman is Latasha's very own sister. Sisters! You wish we had other men! We, don't, we, we don't will see! We will see! We will When Victoria got pregnant at just 15 years old, she hid the pregnancy from her mother. Today, this teen is not hiding her furious rage. You can sit over there! At John for doing nothing to help her raise their child. Hey! And Keto wants this man to be the father her baby deserves. Yes! Yes! But his new girlfriend wants DNA proof. You envy this Erica, and you know me. Can you the house? You are in the left the, the paternity of these children are in question. This is what we're here for right here. This is what we're here for right here. But you the DNA not. results hold all the answers. All of the shocking test results are coming out right now. Everyone, this is Latasha. Welcome, Latasha, to the show. Now, Latasha says that this woman, Shatara, has single-handedly destroyed her life. Whoa. By the way, Shatara is Latasha's own sister. Whoa. Now, the family feud began the day that Shatara told Latasha's boyfriend, Dierick, that Dierick was not the father of Latasha's daughter, Deandria. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, Latasha and Dierick are no longer together. Now, Latasha believes that he and her sister, Shatara, are having a secret affair. No, we ain't. No, we ain't. No, we ain't. That's no, we why ain't. Shatara told the Eric something like that. Watch this. I love my sister Latasha, but I refuse to let the Eric take care of a baby that isn't his. Around the time that Latasha got pregnant, I knew that she was at least with four other men. When the Adriana was born, I saw that light skin and I knew we had a problem. She doesn't look anything like De'Ara. The baby looks like one of her ex-boyfriends. Because I voiced my opinion, my sister is accusing me of having sex with the Eric behind her back. That couldn't be farther from the truth. I don't need her, man. I can get my own. Latasha needs to stop worrying about me and start looking for the father of her baby. Come on now, she, and that's my sister. You heard that? That's my sister. I know that. Even just... if I did do anything, you my sister, you had my back. It don't matter. It don't matter. Poor guy. We'll see. That's why I think they messing around. Because you're going to have his side over mine. You're going to tell him something? Come on now. So it you think she real. said that about your child to get him with her? Why else? How, why else would you be so all cool with him talking on the phone? Y'all all, all friendly. You, even if I cheated, you supposed to have my side. You my blood sister. You my blood sister, Morris. Wait a minute. You, you never cheated on Derek. No, I ain't never cheated on him. You're not together, right? We together, but he needs to know that it's his baby, that he'll know that it's everything gonna be good. Oh, so you all are still kind of together. Yeah, we still talk, we still, but when he knows for sure it's his baby, then he'll know right. You think they look alike? Yeah, they look alike. Look at this. Come on. 
Come now. Let me show you this baby. Come on, Maury. Maury, come with me. I'm I want you to come with I'm me. Coming. I want you to come. Look at this baby forehead. Look at his forehead. Do you see? Look at this. This is his baby. Come on now. You know what they say. The complexion. Oh, yeah, because the complexion. Right. The complexion. Come on now. People have bright babies all the time. Nobody can't no bright baby. <laughs> Look. I'm look, serious, though. Look, I'm serious. Look, I've seen white babies come out of people it, like exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what I got to say. That's what I'm saying. I know what's right. <laughs> How would you say your relationship is right now with your sister? If she if she cheated with my man, I'm a whoop her ass, and we hit that. Sisters. And we look just alike. And you all look just alike. And that's why he messing with her. That's why he's messing with her. That's why he I messing with her. Because she looks like you. Yes, yes. I would not mess why with your man. I don't need your why man. Why is you all I don't even see why. You don't have to say that. It don't matter. It don't matter. Shatara, why would you do that to your sister? Tell her those things. Because right and right is wrong and wrong. And I think... It's Whatever, that's you, my sister. It don't matter. It, it does, does matter. matter. Whether you I'm your sister, sister or we not. Go to you were and die together. You were with 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 and die together. You were with
Like she knows who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like reaching for just a month old. Reaching for me, learning how to walk. I'm holding up the other day. She's you walking. You feel a connection. Taking, I feel a connection with the baby Murray. Yes, I do. I wish I had the video well, to show y'all. I wish I had the video. We're going to do two Check things. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get this lie detector All right, thing out. Right. That's what I'm talking about, We asked you, Shatara, are you telling Derek that the Adriana is his daughter to intentionally break up his relationship no, with no, Latasha? No. You said no. no. And the lie detector said. And the lie detector said that's you're telling the truth. truth. That's All the right, truth. That's what I'm I know about. it's the truth. Now you know. That's what I'm now trying to let you know. Now you know. We I'm asked no you, sister. are you making up lies? I would never lies? do you like that. Are you making up lies about Latasha in order to break her and Derek up? No. You said no. no. The lie detector determined That's you're the telling the truth. Told you. Already. So you I making it up you. in your head I to make yourself look you. good. You gonna do to me like we asked you, good. during Latasha's relationship with Derek, have you had any type of sexual contact with him? No. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling That's the truth. The truth. You're telling told, you. The truth. Told, told you. Told you. Told you. Told you. It ain't nothing okay. like that. Okay. It ain't nothing okay. like that. Okay. You just wanna make yourself look good. This is what we're here for right here. This is what we're here for right here. This is what we're here for. That's my baby. Okay, I've you wanted there. to prove something to her. Now she wants to prove something to you. to you. Right. All right? Please it to be my baby. In the case of two-month-old Deadriana, Derek, you are the Thank father. You. That's what I'm talking about. 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 Huh? Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, everybody. So we have settled this question. But the big question remains, light and dark. Huh. Light and dark. It yeah. don't matter. It doesn't matter. It we'll be back right now. Crystal is not sure if the father of her baby is her ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend's nephew, or her husband. And you only told him two weeks ago. I was scared that my marriage would end. Kita wants this man to be the father her baby deserves. Yes! Yes! But his new girlfriend wants DNA proof. You envy this Erica, and you know me. Get you the house! One woman and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. Everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal, to the show. Crystal is here because Crystal admits she made a terrible mistake. She confessed to having sex with three different guys. Now she is unsure who fathered her four-month-old daughter, Nevea. It could be her husband, Ted, her ex-boyfriend, Jeff, or Jeff's own nephew, Ricky. This is the story. There's a possibility that three different men could be the father of my four-month-old child, Nevea. The first possibility is my husband, Ted. I just told him that he may not be Nevea's father. I was so scared that I would lose him forever if he knew the truth. The second possibility is my ex-boyfriend, Jeff. He and I were together years ago, and just recently we're back together for a few months. And the third is Jeff's nephew, Ricky. I only slept with him a few times when I was drunk, and it meant nothing. In my heart, I know that Jeff is the father of Nevea. Nevea has the same birthmark that Jeff does. She's identical to him. I'm praying that my husband, Ted, is the father, but my gut is just telling me that she's Jeff's. And that's what makes it worse for Crystal, because she is almost certain that Jeff is the father, and Jeff happens to be the only one of the three who doesn't want to be Nevaeh's dad? You put this all on yourself. I feel really, really bad about it. See, my daughter was born with problems. She has a cleft palate, which means she has a hole in the roof of her mouth. Um, she also has a feeding tube that goes from her nose to her stomach because her food goes into her lungs if I feed her through a bottle. 
Ted is the only one that's really been there. I mean, Ricky was there too. Ted is your husband. Ted is my husband. Ricky is the nephew of the ex-boyfriend. Yes. Um, and Jeff. Jeff. Won't have a, anything to he do. He don't want nothing to do with her, although he was sleeping with me. Why are you so convinced that it's Jeff? Because when I was staying with Jeff at my house, um, we, we were having sex nonstop, every day, all day long, and I missed my period when I was with him. Who do you think Nevaeh looks like? Jeff. Jeff is the top yes. fella. The middle fella is the nephew, look Ricky. Look at the ears. I mean, look at the ears, Maury. Look. Look at the ears. Look at these ears. Look at the ears. Look at the shape of the mouth. Look at the mouth. But here's the irony. He doesn't want anything to do with this child. That ain't my kid. You Why you want to deny it? Why you want to deny it? You were the one that wanted it. You were the one that wanted it. You were the one that wanted it. You don't like me at all. Get a life. You get a life. Find out who your baby daddy but, but is. By the way, but by Why the way. Why you think I'm here? Ted was led to believe that he, Ted, your husband, was yes. led to believe that he was the father all along, and you only told him two weeks ago. And I feel bad for it, I do. I was scared that my marriage would end. Did Ted say that he would leave you if this is not his child? We had a conversation, and he said it wouldn't, it, he would never leave me. Okay, this is what these three guys had to say about this situation. I'm Ted, Crystal's husband, and I'm hoping I'm the father of her daughter, Nevaeh. I'm Ricky, and I could be the father of Crystal's daughter, too. I'm Jeff, and Crystal is claiming I'm the father of Nevaeh. Crystal lied to me. She broke my heart. Crystal can't keep track of how many men she had sex with. She slept with my nephew, Ricky, for God's sakes. And her baby don't look nothing like me. Crystal and I, we were in a real relationship with each other. I was the one who was there during her pregnancy. Not Ted, not Jeff, it was me. It makes me so upset that Crystal would sleep with three different men. I'm praying that Nevaeh is mine so me and Crystal can work on a relationship. If I'm proven to be Nevaeh's father, Ted needs to step aside and let me take care of him. Crystal needs to stop telling everybody that I'm Nevaeh's father. The girl is a liar, and she needs to learn how to keep her legs closed. All right, oh. let's meet that guy, Jeff. Here's Jeff. All right, Jeff. Uh, you need to find your baby daddy. Don't tell me I need to keep my legs closed. Okay, Jeff, you are adamant. You are sure you're not the father. Yeah. Why? Because little girl don't look nothing like me. All three of my kids look exactly like me. She was married at the time you all got yeah. together, right? Yeah. All right. What happened to your relationship with her? We were just... Uh, don't, we were just nothing. We, we were, were living together. Yeah, we were living together. And then she went to my nephew. Shouldn't why? Shouldn't accuse me. Why are you gonna Shouldn't go to my nephew? Shouldn't have been accusing me. Shouldn't have been accusing me. If it was, Shouldn't have been accusing me. If you, wanted, if been if been you wanted me to be your baby daddy, why are you going with my nephew? Shouldn't have been accusing me. Have your, oh boy. Have Teddy be your baby daddy, okay? Here, look, look. I hope so. I hope what happens so. If, I hope he is my Jeff, baby daddy. So Jeff, Jeff. He's the father of my other two. What happens if you're too. the father? You're gonna be in this child's yeah. life. You will. Yeah. Okay. Nope. All right. Here's, by the way, your nephew, Jeff. Here's Ricky. Ricky, come on out. Ricky. You want to be the father of this child? Yes, I do. Do you think you're the father? I know he's not. Look at the resent. Look at look at the look at the ears. You guys are related, of course. Ricky, how come you would mess with your uncle's girl? She wanted me to. Were you upset when you found out about Ricky? A little bit, but blood's thicker than water. Well, guess what? We have one other guy. He's the guy who wants to be the father, too, and her husband, Ted. <laughs> Ted, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Hey, you know you're being easy to go on that, dude. Straight up. She's only using you for the money. She only told you two weeks ago. How did you feel? Uh, disappointed, disgusted, sad. You think Nevea looks like you? I do. You do? Ted. Well, you can't see it right now, but that, that was to cover up a hickey that I left on her neck. She didn't tell you that. No, she did. You want to be a family again? What happened?
happens if this is not your shot? Still try to work things out. Still try to work things out. Well, we're going to have the DNA results. We got the results right now. In the case of four-month-old Nevaeh, Jeff, Ted, Ricky. Don't go away. Jeff, Ted, Ricky. The unforgettable results are coming up. Kita wants this man to be the father her baby deserves. Yes! Yes! But his new girlfriend wants DNA proof. You envy this Erica, and you know me. You When Victoria got pregnant at just 15 years old, she had sex one time with a man named John. She hid the pregnancy from her mother. Today, this teen is not hiding her furious rage. You can sit over there. At John for doing nothing to help her raise their child. One woman and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. Everyone, this is Keto. Welcome Keto to the show. Now, Keita traveled all the way to the Mari show to prove to this man, Lyman, that he's the father of her two-year-old daughter, Lanaya. Oh. Keita believes the main reason for his denial is his new girlfriend, Erica. Oh. You see, Keita claims Erica is blinded with jealousy and will do anything in her power to keep Lyman away from her. But Keita claims it has not worked. In fact, Keita claims they're still sleeping together. <laughs> Why are you so angry at him? I feel like he should be a father, not a daddy. A man, any man can be a daddy. He needs to step up to the plate and be a father. If he has a girlfriend, Erica, why is he so obsessed with you? Erica been with Lyman. They been together. Erica been knew about me. I've been messing with Lyman since I was 16 years old. She been knew about me. Oh. It's not just me he's sleeping with. He sleep with everybody in Lake Charles. Oh. So you even took a lie detector test to yes. prove to her yes. that yes. you're still yes. sleeping with her. Yes. Lanaya, well, mm. unfortunately, had some problems. Right? Yeah, no she problem. she was in the hospital. She was hospitalized for acid reflex. He only could come and visit her. She, he couldn't stay at the hospital because she's so worried about if he go mess with me at the hospital. Don't worry about me. Worry about his child. And you think that Erica's all over him because she's jealous Erica of you. Erica want to wear the pants and the skirt. Be a lady. Be a lady. <laughs> Did Lyman used to provide for your child? Yes, Lyman do for it, but he have to sneak and so do it. So what's the problem? The that is the killing what's part. What's the problem? You tell me the problem. Oh. That's what you do. You tell me the problem. You tell me the problem. He also said that her daughter wasn't here. She went and bought a test and swabbed her mouth in his mouth and said the test was 99.9. .9. My daughter looked just like his son. How about how about the, mm. this daughter? Does does Lanaya look like? Yeah, him? she looks just like his mother, his mama, and he know that. His mama them come and get Lanaya. It's not the point that he don't do nothing. He do it, but he have to sneak. So you want to prove to Erica that you're still yes. sleeping with Lyman? Yes. Your man want this? Take it a look at this matter. and take a good look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. You can call me whatever you want to call me, boo. You call me a hoe. I don't care about none of that. This is what Lyman and Erica have to say. I'm still gonna be me. It's not nothing. I've been with my boyfriend Lyman for seven years. He'd have been playing games with Lyman for too long and it's going to end. Keita said I was the baby daddy of her oldest daughter. Keita's such a big life, we paid for a DNA test and I was not the father. When I wanted to help Keita out with the baby, it was always drama. I was even willing to help without the DNA being done. I even offered to pay for a DNA test before, but Keita made a big scene and didn't want to go through with it. I have nothing against Nye, but I'm not helping out until the DNA is here. Keita only doing this because she want to get back with me. Regardless of the results, we are going back home together. Here are Lyman and Erica. Boom! Here they are.
put up with it because you dumb. Okay, and you the You are the Exactly. You envy this Erica, and you know Erica, it. Erica, Erica. Go ahead. You want all this, you but your man been smacking this. Does that child favor you? They, in my family, they say it do, but you know, looks deceiving. You never know. <laughs> are you? Looks are deceiving, boy. You is hilarious. You was just begging me not the to come on the show. We're gonna do two things. Just begging me not to come on the show. You been ever since I called Maury? Ever since I called Maury? He been begging me not to even come on Maury. Oh, I go pay the DNA test. Yes. Yes. Because he didn't even want you here, first of all, because he wanted well, to lay up what, with me and well, all that. Well, this is Peter. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it. Baby, I know the one told the Maury show to call you to invite you. He didn't okay, even want you here. Hold up. When I was on the phone with him, he was sitting right there and told me to tell him okay. I was going to come to Erica, support him. Erica, we're going to find out right now whether Lyman has been with her or not. Okay, we asked you, Keita, has Lyman ever told you he loved you? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, has Lyman ever told you he wanted to marry you? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, have you had sex with Lyman in the past month? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, we asked you, Kita, overall, how many times have you had sex with Lyman behind Erica's back? You said more than 50 times. Yeah, and the lie detector course. determined you're telling the truth. But, but I don't care about that. But I already know Hold all on. of it. No, y'all asking no. questions. Y'all asking questions when we was together at the time that's if we had sex. Years. Ask the question. Re-text her. Re-text her and see. Yeah. Well, you was not together with Y'all asking her when we was together, no, living together. No, we was not together. About the first Kita, baby. We, we was not together. When we was living together, about the first baby. I know you can live with me. You can't know her. You can't know her. I care about this child. I don't care about this child. I care about this child. You're not a woman that want to be a wife. Baby, what you doing? We have this little girl's future at stake here. That's what I care about, all right? That's what I'm worried about, too. In the case of two-year-old Lanaya Lyman, you are the father. <laughs> When Victoria got pregnant at just 15 years old, she had sex one time with a man named John. She hid the pregnancy from her mother. Today, this teen is not hiding her furious rage. You can sit over there! At John for doing nothing to help her raise their child. One woman, one, one baby, wanted. and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. What happens if this is not your child? And the only solution is three DNA tests. In the case of four-month-old Nevaeh. One woman and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. Everyone, this is Victoria. Welcome, Victoria, to the show. And, and, and sitting next to Victoria is Victoria's mother, Michelle. Welcome, Michelle, to the show. Victoria, Victoria is now 17 years old. When she was 15, she had sex one time with a man named John. She got pregnant. Terrified, Victoria hid her pregnancy from her mother for five months. And when her mom, Michelle, found out that Victoria was pregnant, she was furious. And today she's furious because John abandoned Victoria and is now denying her eight-month-old baby, Brayden. Watch. I'm a teen mom struggling to take care of my son, Brayden. His father, John, denies him, but I do what I have to do for my son. When I was 15 and I found out I was pregnant, I was scared, but I had to stand up and do what I had to do. 
If I had to grow up, then John should too. This is his son and he should do as much as me. Since I had Brayden, my whole life has changed. I went from staying out late with my friends to staying up late taking care of my son. My mom has helped me so much with taking care of my son, Brayden. It breaks my heart to see my daughter and grandson go through this pain. John lied to me from the start and I feel like he took advantage of my daughter. John has only seen Brayden four or five times and has done nothing. John better step up and be a father like he's supposed to be to my son. You feel betrayed by him. Yes, I do, Maury. Why are you so angry at John? Maury, I'm so angry at him because he lied to me. He lied straight to my face. You lied no. to me. You, no. I didn't find out she was pregnant no. until uh, after the fact. But there, he has reasons why he says he's not the father. What are they? Well, I'd like to know his reasons. I would like to know his reasons right now. Look at that, Maury, look at look that. Look at that baby. Look at him. Can you not tell me? Look at him. tell you that he couldn't have kids? Yes, he did, Maury. He said when we first got together that he couldn't even have kids. Were you in an accident recently with yes, your son? Yes, I was, Maury. I was in a very either. bad car accident. We were on the highway. We had got slammed into really bad. They sent us flying down the highway. We got I hit again. Got swerved in three circles and smashed into the guardrail. We should have been dead. Maury, we should have been dead. Cool you didn't call me. You didn't, didn't call me. You didn't call after. me. You didn't know they slept together. No, they were friends, Maury. I got told they were friends. They only slept, what, one time you slept together? No, we slept together more than once, but the first time we slept together, I got pregnant. And I didn't find out until I was three months. Okay, and you hid that from your mother. Yes, I did. Yeah, I didn't find out until after she was already pregnant. You want to tell all these girls out there who want children when they're teenagers like you? What do you want to tell them? I want to tell them it's not fun, it's not easy, it is very hard. I have struggled day to day to do what I have to do for my baby. I've had to give up so much for my son. And what does he do? What does he do? He got to graduate. I didn't. I had to drop out to take care of my baby. No one else you did. dropped out. John has a different story. This is what he had to say. What? I want to hear this. Me and my ex, Victoria, we were not together very long at all. I was actually bouncing back and forth between her and another girl. Now Victoria is saying I'm the father of her son Brayden and it's turned my whole world upside down. When Victoria got pregnant, she told me there was another guy that could be a father. In my mind, I think it entitles me to have some doubts on whether he's my son or not. She even gave the baby her ex's last name, so how am I supposed to feel? I'm not saying Victoria is a hoe because she's not, but I'm just wondering who the baby's father is. I think Victoria wants me to be the father, but she's not sure herself. I'm tired of everyone calling me a for not taking care of Brayden. I'm looking forward to moving on with my life with or without Brayden as my son. His ass needs to Here's come out here John. now. John, John, come on now, out. Look at it. The dates don't match up to me. John, the dates don't match up? Yeah, I, I did over the math, and I, it didn't really add up at first, and it didn't, and then it did, and then it didn't. I'm not saying he's not mine. I'm not well, saying he is. I'm just this. not sure. Do these pictures add up? I think he sort of looks like me. I think some of the faces he, he makes exactly look like me. What you. do you mean? He's going to change his story. Maury, he's going to change his story now. But a week ago, he said that baby looked just like him. He does when sort of look like around, him. He tells me that that baby looks like him and that he wants to be there. But what you want to do and what you're doing are two different things. You need to step up. If I find after out these he results, After these results, you need to step up and be a man to take care of that boy. I did not make him by myself. You helped. If he is mine, I will be there 100%. What did you do when you found out she was pregnant? I went to a few of the doctor's appointments with her and everything. Two, two, two. And then took off, disappeared. I didn't, I, I, the dates didn't add up to me, so I didn't know. I've been doing your job. I went to the doctor's with her. I stay in the hospital with her. I buy his clothes. Hold up, hold up. I buy his clothes. You no, hold on. No, hold on. I buy his clothes. I buy his clothes. What have you done for him? We got babies out of foreign land. Where are you? What are you doing? Where are you when he was hey, in wait the a hospital? Second. If you jump all over him and he said he would take care of this child, you got to give him a chance to do that if he's the father. I didn't even get a call when they was in the hospital. I didn't even get a call. In the case of eight-month-old Brayden, John. He got to graduate. I had to drop out to take care of my baby. The results are next. Is John the father of this teen's baby or not? 
One woman, one baby, and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. What happens if this is not your child? And the only solution is three DNA tests. Jeff, Ted, Rick. Don't go away. The unforgettable results are coming up. One woman and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. I'm a teen mom struggling to take care of my son, Brayden. His father, John, denies him, but I do what I have to do for my son. When I was 15 and I found out I was pregnant, I was scared, but I had to stand up and do what I had to do. If I had to grow up, then John should too. This is his son and he should do as much as me. My mom has helped me so much with taking care of my son, Brayden. It breaks my heart to see my daughter and grandson go through this pain. John lied to me from the start, and I feel like he took advantage of my daughter. John better step up and be a father like he's supposed to be to my son. Me and my ex, Victoria, we were not together very long at all. Now Victoria's saying I'm the father of her son, Brayden, has turned my whole world upside down. I'm not saying Victoria's a hoe, because she's not. But I'm just wondering who the baby's father is. You need to step up. If I find after out these results, after these results, you need to step up to be a man to take care of that boy. The case of eight-month-old Brayden, John... You are the father. Crystal is not sure if the father of her baby is her ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend's nephew, or her husband. And you only told him two weeks ago. I was scared that my marriage would end. One woman, one baby, and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. What happens if this is not your child? And the only solution is three DNA tests. Jeff, Ted, Rick. Don't go away. The DNA results are next. Hey out there, are you a college student looking for an exciting internship? Well, there's only one place to intern, and that's The Mari Show. You're going to meet interesting people, work with an amazing production staff, and learn all about the exciting world of television production. Use this page to send us all of your information, and our intern coordinator will be sure to get back to you. One woman and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. Crystal admits she made a terrible mistake. She confessed to having sex with three different guys. Now she is unsure who fathered her four-month-old daughter, Nevaeh. It could be her husband, Ted, her ex-boyfriend, Jeff, or Jeff's own nephew, Ricky. There's a possibility that three different men could be the father of my four-month-old child, Nevaeh. The first possibility is my husband, Ted. The second possibility is my ex-boyfriend, Jeff. And the third is Jeff's nephew, Ricky. In my heart, I know that Jeff is the father of Nevaeh. I'm Ted, Crystal's husband, and I'm hoping I'm the father of her daughter, Nevaeh. I'm Ricky, and I could be the father of Crystal's daughter, too. Crystal can't keep track of how many men she had sex with. It makes me so upset that Crystal would sleep with three different men. I'm praying that Nevaeh is mine, so me and Crystal can work on a relationship. We got the results right now. In the case of four-month-old Nevaeh, Ricky, you are not the father. Told you. Okay, that's all I want to know. Jeff, you are not that's all I want to know. Thank you very much. When it comes to four-month-old Nevaeh, Ted, you are the father. I'm so sorry. Thank you all. Have a good life. Thank you all. One woman and three men with an extremely bizarre problem. I want to thank all my guests who joined us today. I want to thank everybody across the country who watches The Mari Show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you all. Thank you all.
The drama happens right now on Mari. Misty's furious that John denies her two kids. I don't feed these kids, I don't change their diapers, and I don't play with them. And John's own mother is here disgusted with her son, and she's brought her belt. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. I'm sure, I'm sure, man. She's gonna take the strap to him. His mother may have the belt, but I have the DNA results. John, John. Delon just found out the secret that his three-year-old son's real father may be another man. Everything that young man is, is because of me. He's respectful, three years old. He knows how to say, excuse me, but it's only because of me. I think that's Delon's job. I don't know, I am so sorry. Why don't we get the answer? Will this DNA test mend his heart or shatter it completely? Delon? And more paternity results you won't believe. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. Oh! He's the father of that child. Yes. Frank. Oh! He's positive he's not the father because their sexual encounter lasted 90 seconds. Mari, tell him that he is the father. Tim, you. Oh my God. <laughs> Shocking DNA results. Next. Now, imagine this. Every day, you're being told you're a liar and a cheater. Now, for Misty, that's her life. Misty is determined to prove to her boyfriend, John, that she never cheated on him. And to make matters worse, John also denies her two kids, two-and-a-half-year-old Tristan and one-and-a-half-year-old Anthony. Now, see, here's the other player in this. John's own mother, Rhoda, is here, and she's, and she's disgusted by her son's accusations right. against Miss. That's right. I'm tired. This is of what John. I'm tired. Misty is a cheating, backstabbing slut, and I know her two kids are not much. Not only has Misty manipulated me, but she's manipulated my mother, and it makes me pissed off. I've heard several rumors that Misty's had sex with more than one of my friends. How can she lie and pin these kids on me when she was sleeping around town? I don't feed these kids, I don't change their diapers, and I don't play with them. I refuse to take care of Misty's illegitimate children. If the test results prove that I am the father, I will be a man and bow down and apologize. Okay, so. We've given, of course, everybody a paternity test for the two kids. And then, of course, Misty took the lie detector test. So we're going to find that out. Are you all together? Yes. You love him. That's all he my accuses heart. you of doing all this stuff. He denies these kids. By the way, is he a good father to these kids? No. No? Because they're not mine. Those they're not are mine. your kids! Okay. You ever cheated on him? Nope. Never have. Never. Took the lie detector test. Took, I, it was my idea. You're I, mean, lying. I, can't, I flew. I haven't had no sleep in like two All days. Right. I had nothing we'll to eat. We'll see who's lying. I came we'll out. see who's lying. I beat you once. I'll beat you again. No, shut up. I'll beat you shut again. Up. Shut up, man. She's going to take the strap to him. She's a liar. She's a cheater. I've had enough of this. That's right. She's a liar. She's a cheater. Bring, out. John. bring out John right now. Here he is. John, you're with this woman, right? Right. Do you love her? I got love for her, but it's kind of just falling apart. I mean, they're not mine. I know she's a cheater. She's a liar. I'm just, no, I'm done. Has she cheated on you? You know what? She I ever, found admitted, a number. To, she I ever found, admitted to cheating on you? No, but I found numbers. I found a number. Right. Plus, you know, I changed my phone number. In your and imagination. Still, she was talking to one of my In your friends. imagination. She was still talking to one of my friends. And I changed my number. I raised you better than that.
She's an awesome lady. She's awesome. She does more help than he does. I love her. And she's a Mexican. We're too. Mexicans. We take care of ours. Okay. So John's mother wrote. Now I want you to know something. Even with all of this energy that she has, and even all this emotion that she has, yeah. she has been battling cancer for a long time. Aww. But she's here to stand up for Misty and to show her son that he's the father of her grandchildren. Here's Rose. This is supposed to be on my son. Love those kids. I love my son. Love your kids. I love my son. I love, love those my grandkids. grandkids. I love everybody. But you and love your son and you're in his face like that? Because, you know what? Because these are my babies. Because these are my babies. These are my babies. That's why. And he's going to raise them like he should. Are you surprised at him? I I'm totally surprised at him, Maury. I've been a single parent. I raised my kids by myself. I never raised my children to do stuff like this. Yeah. Never. We're going to find out right now. <laughs> so first we're going to have the results of the paternity test, and then we're going to have the lie detector results, OK? When it comes to two-year-old Tristan, John, you are the father. You can have whatever you like. And you can have whatever you like. When it comes to... When it comes to one-year-old Anthony, John, you are the father. Kiss her feet. Results of the lie detector test. Bring it. That's right. You are asked if you've had sex with any of John's friends during your relationship with him. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You are asked if you had sex with your neighbor during your relationship with John. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you had sexual contact with of any kind with anyone other than John during your relationship. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. You need to show me your story. I don't, words are easy. You gonna start changing pampers? Yeah. You never know, with the babies? Yeah. Give it back. You start making no, bottles. I'll do everything. Never I'll call do me everything. a name again. I do never. I That's promise. all I want. I want. Thank you, Jesus. I'll do everything for him. Everything. Kiss it out. Kiss it out. Kiss it out. Delon just found out the secret that his three year old son's real father may be another man. Everything that young man is, is because of me. You think that's Delon's job? I don't know. I am so sorry. Why don't we get the answer? Will this DNA test mend his heart or shatter it completely? Delon? Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. <laughs> He's the father of that child. Yes. Frank. <laughs> Now imagine everybody having a child who was born on your birthday, giving that child your name, then dedicating your life to being the best father you can be, and then imagine having it all taken away. 
You see, that's the painful reality for Delon. Delon's fiance Sparkle broke his heart two months ago when she confessed that she cheated around the time she got pregnant and he might not be the father of her three-year-old son, Delon. Watch this, everybody. Two months ago, my fiance Sparkle told me that our three-year-old child might not be mine. It devastated me. It felt like my son was taken away from me. Everything that young man is, is because of me. He jokes like me. He walks like me. He was born on my birthday. He has my name. I know that little boy better than I know his mother. I need him to breathe. This purple lied to me for three years. I feel betrayed. Then she took something from me that I could never get back. I need to find out where I actually stand in Delon's life and what might hold for me and Sparkle in the future. I have been taken for a ride that I didn't ask to be on. You want to get off this ride? Yeah, I just want to get away from the pain of it. Are you all together? Yeah, we are. You are? Yeah. I love to love her more than I love to be mad at her. Aww. So you're able to forgive? Yes, I am. You are? Yes, what I happens am. if this is not your child? I'm still going to love that little boy. <laughs> You're going to be the father. I am the father. You, you are the father. I don't, I don't have to, you don't have to wait for me to read it. You are. Biologically, if he's not mine, he is everything of me. <laughs> I'll put that in here. Does that look like it? No, he doesn't. But, you know, kids only do what they're shown and taught. And after a while of interacting with a child so long, they start to pick up things oh, of, of you. You see anything in him of you? Yeah, the things I put in him. He's respectful, three years old. He knows how to say, excuse me. He knows how to interrupt a conversation. He knows how to say, I'm sorry. He knows when and when not to do things, but it's only because of me. So, I'm worried about if it comes down bad, that you will change your relationship with that little boy. No. No? I'm a man. <laughs> Love him. How about, how about you changing your relationship with Sparkle? Only thing that changes with me and Sparkle, and this has been since day one, is a trust issue. Just like I said, I love her more. I love to love her more than I love to be mad at her. And everybody has issues. Let's meet her. Here she is, Sparkle. Sparkle, come on. <laughs> Sparkle, you know, my audience, you know what they've heard, and they're a little upset at you. Yes. You can understand that? Yes. Have you uh, stopped beating yourself up? No. I go through this every day. I've watched your show, and I've heard girls say that this eats away at them. That is true. It does. I thought after I told him that it would be better, it will relieve something, it right. didn't. A lot of people would say, you know, the worst part about it is that you kept it for three years. And I took away his right to be mad or to not be mad. I didn't give him that choice. I took that away. What's it been like since you've told Delon? It's been rocky. Rocky? Yeah. You think that's Delon's job? I want it to be so bad. I don't know. There's a lot of pain there, Delon. There's a lot of pain in both of you. You know, and, uh, and I'm just saying that I think maybe the only way to handle each other's pain is to lean on each other and, and just understand what each other's going through. I understand. Because it's, it, you know, it, she, she's hurting as much as you for her own mistakes. Why don't we get the answer?
because you told me you're going to be the father no matter what. You want to say anything to him before I read this answer? You want to say anything to him? Dad, I'm sorry. I took that right away from you. I messed up two people that love me for no reason at all. For no reason at all. And I'm sorry for that. When it comes to three-year-old Delon, Delon, you are not. <laughs> you don't have to be a birth to know that that's your child. That's your child. you to go see Sparkle. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If there's anything I can do, okay? Then you take some time. It's a very emotional time for you. I want you to meet with my counselor, Stephen. I want you to... I, I want you to get all of the options that you possibly can so you can think clearly about this. Mm -hmm. But that's your little boy, you know that. What I want. You know that. You know that. You are not. <laughs> you won't believe what Delon did after the show. Veronica is furious that Mike's mother, Sheila, she called for a DNA test while she was babysitting. That's right. I have grandma's intuition. What is grandma's intuition? I don't feel a connection with this baby. Maybe if you had been a better mother to him, he'd have been a better mother. Results are in. Is his mother right? Mike? This is Veronica. Veronica is furious that this man, Mike, who she once believed was her soulmate, is now denying her two-year-old daughter, Harmony. Aww. You see, Veronica believes that one woman is to blame for Mike's denial. Mike's mother, Sheila. That's not my grandbaby. You see, here's how all this happened. You won't believe what happened. So Veronica drops Harmony off at Sheila's house to take care of the baby. Sheila says, I got grandma's intuition. It kicked in, this intuition. She picked up the baby in one hand, she picked up the phone in the other, and she called Maury. She called for a DNA test while she was babysitting. That's right. This is Veronica's story. When I met Mike, I felt like he could have been my soulmate. I never thought he would have turned his back on me. I told Mike I was pregnant, and then he started denying her from the start. For him to not even acknowledge the fact that she is his, that just, it turns me up. My daughter, Harmony, is now two years old. And within those two years, he only bought her one pair of shoes. I feel like Mike wants to do the right thing, but his mother, Sheila, is all in her business. She called the Maury Show. If Sheila had been a better mother to Mike, maybe he would have been a better father to my daughter. I'm going to prove Mike is the father. I want him and his mother to be there for my child, because I can't do this by myself. Why she was holding your baby. I was mad as hell. Yeah. I wanted to reach through that phone and, and knock the hell out of her. It's her all in his ear telling him he is not it's my not baby. His son. Girl, you no. know that that's his baby. You know that don't be mad like that. You think Mike and that little girl look alike? They look, look at my baby. Look at my baby. Also, apparently there's another feature that they have, right? Oh. <laughs> They feet, they feet look just alike. Look at their toes. They toes look just alike, Maury. They got the same feet. This is the first time in the history of this show we compared feet.
we might as well hear from them, okay? Mike and Sheila, this is what they had to say. I call the Maury Show because Harmony is not my child's baby. I have grandma's intuition. If my mama tell me I need to get a DNA test, that's what I'm gonna do. I trust her, not your lying ass. Five of your friends and family told me to get a DNA test because I'm not Harmony's father. This is my baby boy and no bitch is gonna pin a baby on him. I know for a fact that you was having sex with other guys. One of the guys even looked like me. Veronica, today I'm gonna prove that I'm right and you're wrong. And when this test come back and say I'm not the father, you better stay the hell away from my family. All right, here they are, Mike and Shoot. I guess I didn't know her until Mike, you were with her. Yes, I was. Okay. So why is that uh, that not your granddaughter? First of all, Maury, I'd never seen this girl before until she brought the baby to me, talking about you want to watch your grandbaby. I don't know you. Who are you? Oh yeah, because that's him. He bring me around. That's his fault. Well, I ain't got nothing to do with it. That sounds personal to me, Maury. That sounds personal to me. Because uh, I didn't know Sheila, nothing about her. I want to get her. into this. What, what does grandma's intuition mean? Because I didn't, I don't feel a connection with this baby like I do with the rest of my grandkids. Oh, you have other grandkids. Because you don't let my baby come around too. And, I mean, the baby don't have any of our features at all, like none of my grandkids. Okay, well then that's your baby. She look like you. That's your baby. Girl, shut up. Now you shut up. You got life messed up. We gonna see about yeah, this. Let's see. Were you actually holding the baby in one hand and I calling my I had the baby show? in my lap when I called the Morby show. Maybe if you had been a better mother to him, yeah. he'd have been a better mother. She said if it wasn't for your mother, you'd be okay with this child. I mean, she was another doubt in my mind. I see. That, that helped out me feeling like that, yeah. But Can I show you some feet? My baby's feet are just like yours. Don't even lie. Don't fight. Yes, they do. Do they look like your son's feet? Yes. Not to me, they don't. And yes, what's feet got do. to do with it anyway, yes, more? I don't know. Do. I ain't never heard of no stuff like that. Like his feet and her feet, that make him the daddy. I don't think so. It was like five, five people that I know, that she know, you know, and people was like telling me stuff on the slide. You know, I bump into so somebody. So you were getting it from your mother, you were getting it from your friends, and from all of this. From her friends. And, and this doubt started. My from friends. her friends. And Sheila. And I don't have a problem with it. My thing is, Maury, I want to know if that's my grandbaby. Well, we're gonna, I'm not going to do we're nothing. Gonna find out. Out. We're going to find out right now. now. When it comes to two-year-old harmony, Mike, you are not the father. I know this is difficult, okay? I know you didn't think this, okay? And we'll help you if you want us to help you to find the father. But th he's not the father. You don't say anything to him? No. You don't want to say you're sorry or anything? That you I'm were mistaken? Say. That you were mistaken? Yeah, not to mistaken. Not to Sheila either? Mm -mm. It, she ain't got to say nothing to me. I already knew. But she no. needs to apologize to him. She ain't got to apologize to me. Okay, Mike. Sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay, thank you. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys. <laughs> He's the father of that child. Yes. What about these 18 guys? I cheated on him. Bet I cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. 
Is Frank the father? Frank. You are not. You won't believe what Delon did after the show. This is Frank and his mom, Julie. Three months ago, while Frank was at work, his ex fiance Brandy, took their nine-month-old daughter, Samantha, and left. And he hasn't seen them since. Now, here's the deal. Frank has heard rumors that Brandy had sex with 18 different guys around the time she got pregnant. And now Frank and his mother, Julie, are desperate to find out if Samantha is his biological daughter. Watch. Four years ago, Frank and his mother, Julie, took Brandy into their home. When Brandy was 16, she came into my home. She had nothing. We treated her just like she was mine. During that time, Frank and Brandy fell in love. I love Brandy with everything. We moved out of my mom's house, we got engaged, and there was nothing I wouldn't do for that girl. When Brandy got pregnant, I was ecstatic. I was happy to be a father. But just three months ago, Frank's world came crashing down. Brandy took off, left my son Frank, left her family and took Samantha with her, and it just tore her heart out. Samantha means the world to us. She's my only grandchild. Now I can't even see her. When Brandy left me, I found out she had sex with 18 different guys. And then she turned around and told me I might not be the father. I was pissed. It's so hard on us. We're devastated. <laughs> I want to see Samantha so bad. Guess what? Brandy's mad as heck, you know that? You know Why? she's mad? Why is she mad? Mad, but you you accusing her of sleeping with 18 guys. And she shouldn't have told everybody. She shouldn't have told everybody. And she what do you mean have... she told everybody? She told close personal friends, me, yeah. of mine, yeah. and I had friends that came up to me and then she did. Were you surprised when she left? Yes. Yeah. If we were getting ready to plan the wedding, she oh, was yeah. supposed to come help take Did you care kinda, of me. You took her under your own, or wing, didn't you there, Julie? I mean, like Yeah, a, a, I took her in when she had nowhere else to go. She lived with you? She lived yes. with us. I've done everything for her. I took care of her. You need she to stop your lie, because that ain't even right. All you did was hoard around, and your mom's a slut, too. Oh! I did take her into my home. What she and did I to respect Frank that, but dead, you don't need to be a psychotic bitch. Wrong. What she did to him is dead wrong, but I'll always care about it. You her. think you all look like that little girl? You know what, Murray? It's hard to say. I think oh, I yeah. do, and I'm hoping to be the baby. Yeah. I hope she is my daughter. I want her, and I'll fight for her. And you know what? You even brought. You even brought. Christmas yeah, we got gifts. I got an Easter gift for her. I brought some well, of her guess Christmas what? She ain't accepted none of them. Oh, you haven't seen them. What? If that's your child, I will make sure that she gets your present. Yeah, she is my child, man. All right, this is what Brandy had to say. Watch this. Frank, Julie, you act like you're so torn up about this. You don't care about me or my daughter. Frank, you turn into the biggest mama's boy. You disgust me. I cheated on you plenty of times in our relationship. That's because you're a damn loser. I am beyond positive that you are the father of Samantha. You were there for the first six months of your daughter's life, and now you want to punk out and be a deadbeat father all because your crazy mother's telling you to? Julie, you're a psychotic bitch. You've had it in for me since day one. Both y'all need to wipe your fake ass tears and help me with my daughter, because I'm not doing it no more by myself, not one more day. Wow. She walked out on them, but she's the one who's angry. I love it. Brandy, come on out. She might not be mine. I oh, hope she is. That. I'm getting her. Yeah, I mean. Brand, let's you and I talk, okay? He's the father of that child. Yes. Why'd you leave him? Because I was sick of the way his mom and him treated me. Are you me. with somebody else now? Yes, he's and I'm happy. Real. And he treats me and you, like. And I'm by the way, to be. are you pregnant? Yes, I'm three oh. months pregnant. This is what I don't understand. You left, you took your baby, and you left, but 
then you wouldn't let him see the baby. Would okay, you? Or I talked to him. No, I never. I told him and his father that they could come see him. They just could not stay in the house. And they could not That's take funny. her nowhere. That's funny. And my that mom was funny. right there. Well, wait and a my second. Uncle and my if they father. couldn't That's stay funny. in the house and they couldn't take her anywhere, where were they supposed to see her? No, Who's they couldn't stay the night at the house. house. What about these 18 guys? That's a damn lie. I've, I've cheated on him. Damn straight I cheated on him, but not with 18 guys. Oh, like five. In five years. Five in five, in five years. years. Five guys in five years. Yeah. That's not many, right? No. No. That's not. And by the way, obviously, if that's your child, which you want to be, you'll take care of that child. Oh, yes. Yeah, because yes, if I he would have did that, he would have done did it a couple months ago. He didn't even call her for Christmas. Here we go. When it comes to nine-month-old Samantha, Frank, you are the father. <laughs> Sexual encounter lasted 90 seconds. Maury, tell him that he is the father. Tim, you. Oh my God! Are you crying? <laughs> Brandon, Brandon. I'll beat you again. Oh, shit. I'll beat you so again. So this is Brandy. Three years ago, Brandy had a one-night stand with a man named Tim. Soon after, she found out she was pregnant. Now, Brandy says that she is, count it, the last number in the world percent sure that Tim is the father of her now two-year-old son, Kilo. Look at him. <laughs> Tim says he's positive he's not the father because their sexual encounter lasted 90 seconds. sure that Tim is the father of my two-year-old son, Keelan. I admit that it was a one-night stand, but the condom broke, and that was the night that I got pregnant. Tim is a pathetic coward, and he went into hiding after that night. So I turned into a private investigator. I used Google, MySpace, and everything to hunt his ass down. And when I did, I left him numerous messages telling him that I was pregnant with his child. It's not my fault that he didn't respond until I was eight months pregnant. Tim hasn't done a damn thing for me or my baby since the day he was born. And I'm sick and tired of raising this baby on my own. I am not going to accept the fact that he's trying to run from me and my baby. Maury, I can't wait till you open up that paternity envelope and tell him that he is the father. Yes, you're positive. Maury, like I said, the last number in the world is how much I'm positive that he is my baby daddy. He said, he says it lasted 90 seconds. Okay, why would he say it didn't last 90 seconds? That says something good about me and this is all stuff. I don't say nothing about you, man. What is you talking about, man? You can't even count. Did how you, you gonna say the last number right in the away. world? Learn to count. No, I didn't say I'm not pregnant right away about? because the number that I she had to him was disconnected. Okay. And she I lied. had his. She ain't my space. She ain't Google. She ain't do nothing. Man, shut the hell up. She I did flexing. Google you. She on for I the camera. That's all she doing. She's a camera no, freak. You, that ain't your baby. What is you talking about? That's not she your baby. That's not your baby. You know that's your baby. He looks just like you. Now, Brandon. So you couldn't find him, right? No, how, I couldn't find him. How long, how long before you could find him? I found him when I was like eight months pregnant. Was Tim there when your son was born? Was he there? Yeah. Maury. What? No, he was not there. Why wasn't he there? If he knew. Tim, why was you not there? He was not there because he told me that me and my baby need to have a good life. Good luck with you and your baby. He left that on the internet. No, oh, I told you, you to have a good life and good luck on finding your baby daddy. Don't get I it wrong. You. Don't get I it wrong. You. Please don't get it wrong I now. You. you know what I told you now. I don't put it on now. You. Did he see Keelan after? Maury, he saw him when he was four months old. How 
How you going to see your baby when you're four months old? Probably That's because when you're four months old, I just learned your name. <laughs> You put it on for the cameras. It's your turn to talk. Now she's all upset. Now it's your turn to talk. Why aren't you the father of this child? Man, look, I met her. Right. I didn't even know her name. My called you know me my name and, and said, hey, bro, you want to go over here and scoop out these girls? I'm like, yo, what's up? We go over there. We pick them up. We're going to get a one-bedroom hotel. Side by side. I was like, man, what's up? Oh, I don't want you to think I'm a free. Okay, then, well, by then, I put on my clothes and I'm out the door. She's still in there putting on her like clothes it. while my in there doing you his give thing. Me my pants. How? Give me how? My how? Pants. how? Put it on, man. Put it on, man. She's crazy, man. What's up? But you're going to take care of this child if it's yours. I, I take care of my other son. I wouldn't mind taking care of another one, but okay. if it ain't mine, kick rocks. He's a cute, he's a cute man, kid. Whatever, man. He looks just like you. Yeah, okay. You know what 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 you what 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 If you come up to me and say, oh, well, I done just had this oh baby. Oh, by the way, your son is about one. His birthday is about this much my time. He gonna be two. Oh if it was God. really mine, you would've came up to me when you were pregnant. Are you what are you talking about, man? <laughs> I, 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 why, why she crying? If, I, if I'm gonna take care of the boy, why you crying? <laughs> Okay. He know I saw him on the break. When did you just sit up there and told oh the whole God. world that you didn't even talk to me? You it think you talked to somebody that impersonated me? What kind of f is that? Bring the little boy out and take the mama with y'all. Man, he's like Keelan. You are not. You won't believe what Delon did after the show. Earlier, Delon came to our show because his fiance confessed he might not be the birth father of their three-year-old son. Everything that young man is, is because of me. Delon, you are not. The results were heartbreaking. But what did Delon do after the show? He's my son, and I'm going to be there for him and his mother. No matter what happens, I'll always be there. Delon's attitude is truly an inspiration to us all. Until next time, America.